Since we're getting towards the end of the season, I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions about what the future outlook of this team is. Please go check out my part one video if you haven't. This video is part two and will focus on the tight end and wide receiver core and the overall offensive outlook. I will categorize the positions into three sections, starters, unproven players and backups, and positions of need. Let's start with the tight end position. Cole Komet is only signed for one more year. Although he had a slow start, the tight end position can take some time to develop. He has had a couple of games in a row where he finally developed some consistency. So um, he is definitely your starting tight end heading into next year. And if he performs well, he'll be looking to get signed for top money at his position. Ryan Griffin is our current backup, but his contract is up. The Bears will need depth at this position. Whether they re-sign Ryan Griffin or find another backup in free agency or draft a young backup, um, this position will definitely need some attention. The Bears also have two fullbacks on their roster currently, and even if they just keep one and let another one go, they could potentially create another spot for a third tight end so they could have even more depth at that position. Now, we will look at the wide receiver core. There are a lot of contracts that are either expiring or only have one year left on their deal. Chase Claypool, who the Bears just traded for, has one year left on his deal. Darnell Mooney also has one year left on his deal, and there's already been talks of signing him to an extension. Velas Jones Jr. has had a very up-and-down early career. He's scored a touchdown early on, but he's also fumbled the ball in a clutch moment early on. So there's been a lot of questions about him. He is a rookie, though, and his contract is here for the next three years. Now, Nikhil Harry and Equinemius St. Brown both have their contracts expiring at the end of this year. So Ryan Poles will have to decide whether he wants to sign either of them. And Dante Pettis is also another expiring contract. However, I do believe the Bears should just move on from him. Either way, the wide receiver position on the Chicago Bears is very weak as far as a long-term outlook goes. There are a lot, there are a lot of decisions to make here, and they're very important decisions because we need to surround Justin Fields with a lot of good talent. So overall, just on the offensive side of the team, there are a ton of holes and positions that need to be addressed. The Bears are in great shape to be able to pick up some free agents. However, if they wind up with a very high draft pick, the QB position here is filled. It would be very, very smart to trade that high pick away and trade back and get a lot of draft capital and start filling this roster with some young talent and depth.